I love fine art. I love trying to get things as you know realistic as possible. But I also love a little bit of an illustrative look too, where you know she looks like she's part of a storybook, or you know it's a little bit of like a fantasy or surrealism or something like that. We have a little jungle in here. I feel like it cleanses the air. It just you know it brightens the room. It brightens my day. Nature, you know, we're from nature, we go back to nature, like, so that's why everything's growing out of people's heads and floating all around, and it's just it's a thing that I like to stick with. The first, <laughs> first illustrating job I got was actually off Craigslist. Um, it was such a fluke thing. It came across a lady, Danielle Leibovich, who is an amazing author, and she decided to put out um, a whole series of children's books. Well, as a psychotherapist, I would be working with clients, and I would think to myself, how can I make them see this life theme easy enough for a child to understand? And I called it under the tree because no matter who we are, we can all benefit from the same benefits that the trees provide for everyone, which is safety, shade, and a breath of fresh air. I just want to touch the world with my art. There's a lot of, there's so many different types of art and a lot of it recently has been either negative or you know politically swayed in some way. And I just want to show people that it's not so doom and gloom, that you know, things can be beautiful and we can appreciate the little things. And you know, and that's, that's what I do. I appreciate the little things. I go out and I see a little tiny flower and I just want to blow it up and make it huge and make people see it for like, for what it is, you know? And that's, that's really what I try to do with my artwork.